Welcome friends, I am Tonmoy. Today we will discuss a question which came in GATE 2002 exam and we will discuss this question. Welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. I am Tonmoy. So let's start. So the question is the major product form in the reaction between 1,5 cyclooctadiene with a diborane 0.5 equivalent is so when you have some questions I always request you be patient cool down and read the question properly if you read the question properly it will be easier for you to predict what is the right answer see the major product form in the reaction between 1,5 cyclooctadiene with diborane first of all you should know what is 1,5 cyclooctadiene and what is diborane there is a technique to draw perfect cyclooctadiene. Let's follow. First, four lines, anti this, this. Now join this. You have cyclooctadiene. Yeah, now, whatever they said, one five cyclooctadiene. For example, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Now start drawing. One means naming. Says it will start from 1 and it will end up 5. So, in this way, you need to understand what is 1 5 cyclooctane. Okay, fine, it is done. Now, reaction this with diborane means B2H6. And what they have said 0.5 equivalent. This is the trick of this question. Majority of people, I believe, will make mistake here because. We always do hydroporation. What is that? That is a reaction of a double bond with BH3. We wrote in this way. To get, for example, 1H will reduce 3. So, what will be the product? R3B. Here that H. So, we used to write in this way. So, it is, if it is said that 0.5 equivalent, instead of actually looking at diagonal structure we will think that ok that is BH3.5 equivalent so what will be the product you will definitely end up with mistake BH3.5 equivalent means what does it mean sorry B2H6.5 equivalent means BH3 is one equivalent that is the important actually it is not difficult but it will overlook generally this part is overlooked. And if you came up to this 80% problem you have solved. So, what is the rest part? For example, now what if we got that right now cyclooctadiene, this quad, it, in short it is called quad. Quad versus BH3 is equal to 1 is to 1. So, what, where 1 is to 1 complex is formed? There, if you see only two options are there where 1 is to 1 form. This is and that is. So this is our prime focus. We will reject this two. This and this. So in this way we will apply process of elimination to make the problem little less complicated. It will help us to save energy of our mind. So this is it rejected. Now we will discuss this and this. What will be the product? So let's draw let's draw it will be helpful to understand properly i last time explain how to solve it within one minute so when it first hydrogen happens let me check whether the video working or not yes it's working so first means boron attached here Okay, and hydrogen here, right now this is BH2. And instantly it attacks this because intramolecular reactions are always favorable due to kinetic factors, means proper conformational orientation. I repeat the sentence intramolecular reactions are always favorable due to proper conformational orientations. So attack becomes favorable. So what happened? It will attack again. Now this contains two hydrogen. Although it is needed one BH to hydro to achieve the hydroboration on this one. So what will happen? It will undergo hydroboration again. 
Here we have started B. One will not be used, I told. Now the question, for example, if we start one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the question, where the boron will be attached? That's the confusion. You know, keep this thing in mind. First, three member, second five member, and last six member. This is three member is more first facile than five member and six member. Why? It is true that three member ring has some ring strain, but due to proper conformation orientation, it will form. And even in case of major neighboring group participation, you observe that three member rings affects a lot in neighboring group participation. So, interaction means right now there is possible, there is possible 1 5. Okay, there is no possible 1 6. Why? Instead of that, you can consider, let me draw again. Another is possible. Here, if we consider 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. B H can be attached to here. Understood? That time also we are counting. Our counting is wrong. From here we will start counting. Now the new counting will be from this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so don't be confused. So then this boron will have a chance to form at 1, 4, 4 member ring. Or 5 member ring. So we know 5 member ring is more favorable. That's why it will form. So what will be the ultimate product? 1, 2, 3, 4. Considering from this way, it is a 5 carbon, but actually it is a 6 member. So, I made a mistake that the competition is 4 versus, uh, sorry, uh, the competition is here, 4 carbon versus 5 member ring versus 6 member ring. And 6 member ring is favored because of its stability. Okay. 6 member ring is favored because of stability compared to the 5 member ring. Oh. So, this is the product. Now, so what will be the product? So, this will be the product. Answer is done. If you memorize such information, what may be the problem? First problem, you have read that DH3 and 15 uh, cyclopropyl is in 9 million. It's true. What is it? But at this condition, the answer you know, but you can't confirm what is the product. Okay? Okay. Another thing. So, if you made a mistake of counting diboron versus BH3, then you will think this is the product. So, again you will make mistake. So, that's why read properly. Just think. And if you read properly, then 30 seconds is needed to solve this question. Because 1 is to 1, I told. Then what is the possibility? This and this. What is expected? If it will form, it will undergo reaction again like this, which will product ultimately result in. Okay, friends, let's give you another explanation why this is formed here. Six member over five member, which I have told I should explain, I believe. So let's draw this, this. So if we count. If we come from this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so now next is here 6, so this is 7, 8, this is 9, so okay 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, so now the question why 9 this part will form instead of 6. You know, this is axial, this is equatorial, this is equatorial, this is axial, this is axial, this is equatorial, this is axial, this is equatorial, 
this is equatorial, this is axial, this is axial, this is equatorial, so, so on and so forth. Now, if we have shown that 1, 5, why 1, 5? Because 1, 5 is axial in parallel. And another thing, we are attaching a boron bridge, means you can consider it as a BH, which is actually as a CH2 bridge, methylene bridge. So, it needs to come closer, means this 5 and 1 needs to come closer. So, this is possible in this case, in 1, 4, actually in 1, 4, axial versus equatorial not possible, they are in 180 degree apart. But, in case of this 1, this and uh, another one for we consider this axial versus this equatorial, these are far apart. So difficult. That's why. That is the reason why here 1, 6 is preferred. Means 1, 6 we are saying actually this 1, 5 carbon because boron attached here BH. This way. Okay. So that is the understanding. I guess you should understand again understand this thing it will help you to because the i'll tell you again these are actual so possibility that it can come closer and form a six member this uh, this they can come closer and form this six member ring that's why this will form so i guess i gave you a clarity why reaction will happen this way okay this is the end of this video so, I request you, if you like my videos, please give a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules, and uh, finally, share this video among your friends, and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. So, see you in my next video.